Alright, so kind of recap of today's lesson. To identify restrictions on the variable. Really we did that last lesson. It's just any values that make the denominator equal zero. Okay, so it's just a different way of stating what we've already done. Those discontinuities, basically those uh, things that create vertical asymptotes, those are going to restrict the variable. Okay, so just factor the denominator, see anything that would make it equal zero. Now to simplify a rational expression, this is really the big thing today, factor the top and bottom, okay, so factoring very, very important, and then divide out any common factors, okay. So let's look at an example here. Identify any restrictions, and then simplify the expression, okay. So to do that, let's go ahead and factor first. So on the top, we want factors of negative 2 add to make 1. And so remember, we have x and x. Now for 2, I've only got 2 and 1. Those are my only options. Now they need to add to make positive. So I'm going to have x plus 2, x minus 1. So there's my top. Now on the bottom, we can do the same thing. So I need factors of negative 4 add to make 3. So for 4, I could have 2 and 2 or 1 and 4. Well, 2 and 2, there's no way we could get it adding to make it 3. And so they need to add to make positive 3, so plus 4 minus 1. So before I simplify, let's identify restrictions. And so x cannot equal 1 or negative 4, because either one of those values would make the denominator 0, right? Now, to simplify it, notice both the top and bottom have an x minus 1 factor, well that divides out. x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 goes away. And so x plus 2 over x plus 4 is our simplified expression. And again, x cannot be 1 or negative 4. Even though we don't see that 1 here, it divided out. It still can't be that if we go back to our original expression. Okay, let's talk multiplying rational expressions. Here's the basic steps. Factor the top and bottom like we just did. Divide out any common factors, so we want to simplify it. And then we can express the, the stuff that remains as a product, all right? So let's look at these. Again, factoring becomes very key. And so I'm going to just factor right here above. So I've got 2x and x. That's to get my 2x squared. Now to get 3, I've got 1 and 3. So there's different ways we could do this, but they need to add to make 7. So I'm going to put a 3 right there and a 1 there, because 2x times 3 would be 6x plus 1x. Hey, that adds up to make 7, 1 times 3. And they're both positive. And again, if you're lost right there, we just need to review some factoring, okay? Now x minus 4 is already as simple as it gets. x squared minus 16, difference of 2 squares. So x plus 4 x minus 4, right? 4 times negative 4, negative 16. Of course, they add to make 0. We don't see a middle term there. This guy, factors of 15 add to make 8. Well, that's going to be 5 and 3. And so x plus 5, x plus 3. All right, we factored everything. Let's see what we'll divide out. We'll notice x plus 3 over x plus 3. Hey, that will divide out. That would become a 1. x minus 4 over x minus 4 will divide out. These are remaining ones won't simplify, so let's just write them out. So I've got 2x plus 1 times x plus 4 over x plus 5. And I'll go ahead and just leave my answer like that. You don't need to multiply the top out. We'll just leave it in simplified form where it's already factored. So factor everything, see what terms we can divide out. Now one last thing I want to look at, dividing rational expressions. Well remember when we divide by a fraction, you just multiply by the reciprocal. So for example, if I had 1 half divided by 2 thirds, that's the same as 1 half times 3 halves, right? And then of course you just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom doing the same thing here. So it looks intimidating, but we're just going to turn this, uh, basically the second half of it, just flip them and turn it into a multiplication problem. Okay. 
And so if we go ahead and do that, we'd have x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x minus 1. So it would be this guy times that. Let me just cross that out, okay. And now it's exactly the same thing we just did. Factor everything. Let's see what simplifies for us. And so this guy will become x plus 4, x minus 1. Down here I've got x plus 2, x plus 4. Again, I've done a lot of factoring, so you know I do those pretty easily. If you need to think about them, that's okay. We want to practice. This guy is going to be x plus 2, x plus 3. Again, what I'm looking for, factors of this last number that add to make the middle number. And then, of course, this one doesn't have anything in it. So notice, x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 will go away. Let's see, x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, x plus 4 divided by x plus 4. So all we're left with is x plus 3. So that one simplified a lot. Okay. So there's the keys. Again, a lot of factoring. We, we want to continue to practice, beef that skill up. But factor things, see what you can divide out and simplify.